Hello, everybody. Hello. I have Miss Emma with me today. We are talking to you today about the Glamlight X Strawberry Shortcake. Yes, the Strawberry Shortcake from when my mom was a kid. Yes, it's the exact same Strawberry Shortcake that was in the 80s when Mommy was a little girl. And it's a little collection. It's a Strawberry Shortcake or Glam Light X Strawberry Shortcake collection. I got the entire PR collection, so you'll get to see me try everything in the collection except for the sponge. So if you're interested in seeing what I thought about this collection, then what should they do, Emma? Keep what? Just keep watching. That's it! No, I can Guys, we're back. I know it's been a minute, um, but today we're going to be talking about the Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake Collection. I got everything. If you're interested in seeing how this all works out, then I would just keep watching. Um, I'm going to just go directly into filming it and then film the intro later. So yeah, um, I got the sponge that's shaped like a strawberry. I didn't use it it's too cute for me to use. I just don't want to use it. It's it's too pretty. I have lots of other sponges and I don't really use sponges that much, just occasionally. Certain brands I like to use with the sponge a little bit better. I feel like the application is better. It came with these lovely lashes. Um, they're the Strawberry Shortcake Lash. They look like they might be something I might be able to wear, so we're, I'm excited about that. It also came with a palette. Um, I was a big Strawberry Shortcake fan. I'm wearing a shirt right now um in my time when i was a little girl i had strawberry shortcake everything i'm talking i had the bedding i had the curtains i had all the toys that i could get i was obsessed with it to the point where you know people were like you know you look like strawberry shortcake and i thought that was the greatest compliment ever um she has like actual pinky red hair so that was fun. Uh, she has to have freckles on her nose like I did as a child. So I can, I can see. And the eyes are kind of a green color. So yeah, I can see where I, people would think I looked like her as a child. That hat is so cute. It's the bonnet. And this is her little... Um, she has a cart that she rides around town with her strawberries. And, you know, selling. I don't know if she's really selling them. Or she's just giving them out. Because you know how it is in cartoon world when you're a child. Um, but this palette is so pretty it's a lot of pinks and greens which i'm not always wearing pinks but i've been getting into them lately so i'm kind of excited to play with it it's glam lights formula which can be a little bit on the heavy glitter like large chunky glitter type mixed into her shimmers and i'm not always a fan of that but there are some shades in here that are just really calling my name and I can't really wait to play with it. So we're just going to get cracking on it. Um, but before we do that, I want to talk about a couple other things. We also have a lip kit that came with a lipstick, which I love. Glam Lights lipsticks are one of the only stick lipstick kinds that are the only kind of companies with stick lipstick that I don't mind because I'm not really a big stick lipstick person. And this is the container. That is too freaking cute. Did you guys see what the actual lip color looks like? It's a pink. I wear some pinks every now and then, so that's pretty. We'll have fun with that. And then it comes with a little lip gloss in the container. is too cute. And it actually, I've heard, smells like strawberries. Ooh, yeah. It smells just like the strawberry shortcake doll used to. So that's cool. Because the dolls and all the toys that went to it all smelled really good. All right, so I didn't like, so my brother had a dragon that he was obsessed with that my mom keeps thinking it was from Strawberry Shortcake, but it's not. It's from My Little Pony, and My Little Pony, they all smell good too. It is weird, weird time to be the the um, late 80s was, was, was or mid 80s was weird. <laughs> um, I also got a little blush. I've never wear this kind of color pink. Uh, I am very excited because it is a fun pink. I mean, look at that pink. Oh my gosh. I think Teresa's dad said it looks like 
like a real estate lady pink and you know what like a lady who is a real estate agent would probably wear this this, this is beautiful <laughs> i'm excited to play with it i'm excited to play with the entire collection so we're just gonna get cracking i got everything open and let's start with the eyeshadow palette i do have some brushes with me my mom got me this cute little brush jar look how cute it says wake up make up mm -hmm. All right, which brush do I want? Oh, I think, I think we're gonna use a nice fluffy brush to lay down a base color. I'm gonna take this little thing with the numbers on it because it doesn't really have names on it. I'm gonna take this out. I don't really need it. What do we want as our base? There is nothing that's like really chill because these are just so, like this palette has no chill. <laughs> <laughs> it has no chill like all there's just mattes and shimmers so i'm going to go up to this one here it says very cute this one here this pinky one here and we're going to put it on this brush this is from alter ego it's an alter ego eye brush it's a five and we're going to pop that on the old eyeball there and i just want to go in here oh lord a little bit too much on the actual lid. I wasn't really going for that. But yeah. I should have probably like dusted off this brush a little bit. We're just going to go full force today. Why not, right? Like let's, let's just live it up. So I don't know if any of you guys who watched my Ladybug Glow video actually realized that that palette is available. I, I actually got a empty magnetic palette and some little stickers to make the other shimmers that Amanda had sent me magnetic so I could stick them in a magnetic palette and of course I have the palettes and the stickers so that was cool I did that that came they came out beautiful I put pictures of them up on Instagram I think this just still has like the the ladybug glow palette like as the main photo but definitely go check out my I didn't blend the eye primer very well did I um, definitely go check out my Instagram if you want to see how that came out they're very very cute I'm thinking about so my daughter isn't here right now she's with her dad at the office I'm thinking about on Thursday she's gonna be going to the sitters and I was thinking maybe what I could do is do uh, another video on that brand then we could play with those other shimmers and maybe do another look and that would be fun so that's very pink i mean this is super duper pink i'm like looking at myself in the reflection and i'm like wow that is serious pink okay okay now i want I do want to play with some of these shimmers, but I want to deepen this color. Uh, so I'm going to go with the red. Why not the red? The red that has a little strawberry on it. Like, it's a very bright red. Why not? Let's just go full force. Be, let's just be our craziest, loudest self. Let's live our best loud life. Let's find a brush that I want. I'm so picky about the brush that I want because it does make a difference in the application of the product. I could probably just use one of these I got some gimme glow brushes I should probably use one of these it's more like pencil shaped so it can be a little bit more precise I don't know that's the one I was looking for so this is another glam light brush I love the glam light brushes this is from a Christmas collection and I am going to for come from a couple Christmases ago so I'm gonna take that strawberry I hate it because when you use the ones that have the pretty embossing in the pan, then you lose that. I'm going to use that. And we're going to just try to like deepen the V. And try to like pull it up. Because I got some, my eyes kind of tilt downward. If I don't, you know, do my makeup right, they it's more emphasized anyhow. So I want to like, Try to make them look tilted upward. So that's what this deepening of the V 
on the side is. Now I have on a lot of my base makeup, but I don't have on concealer because concealer can fix a lot of boo-boos for me. I can go in and fix a lot of errors that I make. And I make a lot because I'm not perfect and I realize that. And I am but a novice. I am a novice. I'm not pretending that I know what I'm doing because <laughs> clearly I don't. So yeah, that's a little too far down here. I want that more streamlined up, but it's just looking more pinky and pink and staining the skin. So I don't know. The eyes are going to look totally different, like two different eyes. They're not even related. Don't even know each other. She doesn't go here. I randomly quote movies. It's a Mean Girl reference. Mean Girls reference. That is. I'll have to fix that one a little bit. So now I want to, what do I want to do? Some, some beautiful shimmers that I want to play with. Um, I, I'm like drawn to this one, but it has like glitter in it, like other glitter reflex. And I don't like that. Sorry about my hair. I need to get it redone. I haven't had money. I'm getting a bonus on Thursday. Hopefully I'll do something with my hair. That's what that means, by the way. Um, there, I'm going to use this one here. I don't, of course, they don't have names on them. So I'm going to just use this on my fingertip. I am a fingertip applier. If you don't like that, I apologize, but try to keep my hands clean. And if I use a palette, I try not to give it away to anybody besides family. I don't go and try to sell it. If I'm not using it, I don't go and try and sell one that I put my fingers in. I just give it to a family member or a friend who doesn't have a problem with putting clean fingers in it. Okay, do we have a lighter color? Yeah, we do have a nice lighter pink color that I'm going to put down. And then I think I want to do green under the eye, like that deep green. All right, and then I'm gonna go into this shimmer. And the inner portion, I'm just gonna try to blend it with what I have left on that other finger. And I burnt my hand, guys, that's what that little mark is. I was trying to make food for me and my daughter Friday and I, a living crap out of my hand because that's what one does I'm being sarcastic sometimes I just get so annoyed with myself because I'm so clumsy and I do such silly things sometimes but I think everybody does and and that should make me feel better but you know you know how it is like you want to be better, you know, you want to do better, be better, especially when you have a child. It's like, I feel like I've gotten so much more hard on myself since I had a child. Like I was hard on myself before, but not like I am now. Like I'm never, ever pleased with anything I do badly enough. All right. So I, this green here, this really deep, dark green here is what I want to put on the lower lash line. I'm going to find a nice brush to be able to do that with. And then Gimme Glow has this uh, awesome lining brush. I don't know if you guys can see the back of that, but it's really nice. That'd make a good liner brush. And we're going to use that. I also like the one that I got in the Laura Lee Los Angeles brush set. That one is really good liner brush. It's probably about the best. I mean, and I'm seeing that even better than the bling brushes and you know how I feel about those bling brushes. Y'all, I should have gotten some when they were on sale, but you know, I never have money because I end up going crazy for Christmas and birthdays and that sort of thing. Andy and I will have a anniversary at the end of this month. I don't know if I'm going to 
celebrate. I don't know what we're going to do. Sometimes we do because it's sort of like the day, you know, it's the day that it was the end of January in 2003 when he asked me if I wanted to be his girlfriend. And I was like, yeah. So that's when it was official. We broke up a couple of times. He likes to re remind me. It's not been a solid experience. We've broken up a few times and I'm like, well, yeah, like a relationship that spans that long. Like it was like, what'll be 19 years, I think. You're bound to have breakups, especially if you didn't get married. You know, there's what's to hold you back nothing you know and now we have a kid together so you know it's even more serious because we're raising a little youngin i don't know if i'm doing a good job on this or not but it is really pretty eyeshadow and I think that the green mixing with the pink is looking kind of muddy to me. I feel like I'm losing that bright, vibrant green. Like it's just muddying. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too critical. I just don't feel like they marry well. I'm just not complimenting each other to, in my humble opinion. just looks uh, it doesn't even look green anymore it just looks muddy let me take a little bit of a lighter green I saw Mel Thomas I should have put it on first the lighter green first I saw Mel Thomas do that on one of her videos one time and then she put the darker color over it and then it looked pretty but let's take I'm gonna take this other green that has the strawberry in it this one here i'm gonna put it right directly under it to see if it can add some vibrancy to that color i don't know add a little oomph yeah that's better that's much better Honestly, I don't think I'd ever give up this palette anyhow. I like it too much. It's too much nostalgia for me. You know, she was really my favorite. In this strawberry shortcake, that is. All right, I want to find, like, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to put this, this glittery color here. I'm going to put that in the inner corner and hope for the best. <laughs> so let's do it. Did I just get makeup on my face? I sure did. Ah, uh, that's okay. We will. This is why I don't like to wear makeup when I'm doing eye makeup. This is why I don't like to do it because then I mess it up. But we'll get it later. Can I? Can I do that now? Can we do that now? Let's just do that now. Is that better? Okay, I think that fixed it. I didn't set it down or anything yet, so I guess we're good. All right, using this brush, I'm just going to go in to that sparkly pink one here. Ooh, it's like, maybe that's just an overspray, because under it, it just looks pink. I'll just put that down here. No, is this a multi-dimensional color? Okay, glam light. All right, Miss Giselle. Never ceases to surprise me and educate me. I stand here humbled. Or sit here humbled because I'm sitting. That is so pretty. Okay, so what time is it? A little bit of time. 
let's do the blush and then I will do eye stuff and come back I guess so we got blush I am definitely going to use my uh, Ellie Dawson bling brushes brush for this I'm gonna just put that on and then we can maybe do can we do we can do it right we can do some stuff together this blush is pretty look at the cute little you can't really see her because of the reflection but there's like a little imprint of, of strawberry shortcake in the inside in the as the pan embossing. It's so cute. I'm gonna brush this across my nose too, because I like blush on the nose. I just do. Um and across the cheeks. This gives you like a little healthy glow. And we're in the middle of winter, and I want to pretend that I have a healthy glow. <laughs> my skin gets really dry and I love the weather I love it being cooler I don't like hot weather I don't like sweating I've never been a fan of it and I want my skin to be the same as it is in the summer you know because I like impossible things all right so I use the revealer foundation today I'm going to use the revealer concealer and we're gonna do that together Milk Cosmetics brush, um, brush, mirror. Come on, Sarah, get it together here, girl. I'm gonna tap that there, tap that there. I'm like actually really pleased with it on this side. But on this side, it is a hot flaming mess. So we're gonna put a little bit more on this side. This, I, um, this concealer leans a little yellow, but the yellow is good for um covering up the darkness because i have a lot of darkness around my eyes because they're deep set it's a fun little family trait i got i'm gonna go in and put more blush and stuff on to like pull this look better back together here gonna go in and just try to neaten up the mess I've made I did make a mess I'm not gonna pretend I did not I totally did I made a big mess all over my face big mess all over my face I'm just gonna smooth that out not as pretty it's very pretty all right get some more blush back on to fill it in i do kind of wish i hadn't put away my brush for my contour and i did and i don't know if i can get it there yes That's better, right? That's better. Okay, so now I want, I was gonna do an eyeliner, but I don't feel like I wanna do an eyeliner anymore. I do wanna do mascara. Let's reach for the Kosas mascara. Since we're doing Kosas, I like to stick with the theme the entire time. And I can try to put on the lashes. I may do that later so you guys can see my tapes. Cause I am so beyond the amount of time that you're supposed to go in between getting your extensions redone again. I've exceeded that time so bad. So bad. It's not even funny. Oh, 
I'm just trying to make it like a, I guess, as simple of a look as I can do. Yes, I've got the mirror in your face, but I don't want you guys to see the stupid faces I make when I'm putting on mascara. Not to mention, some people get, like, annoyed by things going in people's eyes in a video that would they're just not down for that which I can totally understand makes sense it's legit all right we're also going to use this little Kosas eyebrow gel I really do love the Kosas and the Charlotte Tilbury I just feel better when I'm wearing them I feel more put together and I don't get the, you know, separation of my makeup or it doesn't cling to dry, my dry spots. It's usually a better thing. Now, I don't really put much powder on because powder just is going to, like, enhance dry spots and that kind of thing. And I just don't want to do that. I don't need to enhance them. They're, they're already there enough to make me feel bad. I don't want, I don't purposefully make myself feel bad. Okay, so should we play with the lips or should we try to do, let's try and do the eyelashes. Do you think I can do that? Do I have enough time? A little time. I don't know. I don't know if I can do this on video. Maybe I can come back and do this later. What do you guys think? Let's just get an idea. Because I may have to trim them. Sometimes I have to trim them, but other times my light lashes are just perfect, you know? It just depends, I guess, on the style. These are gonna be, of course, gonna be hard to get off. So I'm filming this on Tuesday. I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Let's see. Hi, Box. Didn't mean to do that to ya. Oh, these are so cute. And they feel nice, too. They might be a little long, so I might have to trim them. I might have to trim these suckers. We shall see. Maybe we can come back and I'll have them done. Let's just... yeah i am going to come back with them done i will see you guys in a bit we'll do the lips and talk about the eyelashes they're already going to be on i may yeah lips lips and uh talk about the eyelashes and then final thoughts on the entire collection be back in a few so we're back. I have lined my lips and filled them in a little bit using this Jeffree Star uh, lip liner. I know a lot of you guys are not fans of Mr. Jeffree, but that is okay. I am not necessarily. I just like really good quality products, and these are good quality products. I really enjoy the lip liners. They're very smooth, especially the new formula. I think it's just a lot better. So yeah. I'm here for it and I am going to try this lip kit now I did play around with it a little bit I'm not gonna lie and say that I didn't I did I also have got the lashes on these little strawberry shortcake lashes I don't think I've got them on the way they're supposed to be I trimmed them a little bit I had to trim off like one huge little chunk of lashes on each side but I don't know that I put them on correctly. I'm not the greatest at putting on lashes. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not really a lash person. I think the only lashes I'm very comfortable with is certain like magnetic ones. But even those can be kind of a pain in the butt. The, actually, the one lash that I'm the most comfortable with, and I haven't found anything like the same any kind of dupe for it is from the kvd lashes the natural so if you guys know of anybody that makes a lash that is comparable to this well let me know because they don't make these anymore and i don't even know how i'm ever going to find another pair this is my favorite lash of all time is the only lash that i can just pop on my eye and not have a problem with but yeah 
so that's that but these lashes i mean they're okay i i don't think i did them correctly let's go ahead and get started with the lipstick the lipstick is does it have a name i guess it doesn't i guess it's just all strawberry shortcake because it's only one lipstick but this is the container you can see strawberry shortcake and there's her little cat i forget what the cat's name was oh my gosh i'm a terrible fan and then it's got the strawberry shortcake on the side of it and then it's a nice little faded look design here is your tube i did play with it a little bit that's the color and i'll swatch it on my hand for whatever reason should i swatch it on my hand we'll swatch it on my hand that's the color pink so it's a nice pretty bright pink uh, real estate salesperson pink and it does glide on really nicely they do enjoy this brand because they're moisturizing and they don't like zap the life out of my lips and dry them out seems to go on pretty well i could probably have put this on without a lip liner that's how nice it is the coverage on it's really good and that tip sorry that tip just fits up into the cupid's bill Really well. I had to be careful around here because this is where I have all the scarring. Just very pretty. Very, very pretty. I do like how it looks. Checking myself out in the screen. Do like it. It does get a little messy. Um, if your lips touch the side of this, it does kind of because it's a different color pink and this is such a pale pink almost white that it does kind of smear and I don't like a, a smear because you can see right here it's kind of smeared on the side just from where my lips touched it probably from me talking while putting on lip stuff <laughs> no we're not supposed to do that but it locks in really nicely really really cute Let's go ahead and play with the lip gloss. I mean, excitedly, this is my most interested. I'm the most interested in this product. So this is the most anticipated. So this is the lip gloss. I think it's a clear. It might have a tiny pink tint to it. Um, we're going to swatch it right next to it. Yeah, so it's just got a tiny little pink tint. Nothing major. We're just going to just touch it down center right around the cupid's bow oh it smells so good it smells just like strawberry shortcake and ta-da there you have it that's that's a nice little lip set i really really enjoyed this lip set i so far i've liked the michaela the the pot two one that's my favorite lip formula that she has but I've liked the lip formulas since then. Uh, the the Scooby Doo one is okay. This one's this one's nice too. Uh, the but the Michaela Pot too one. That one is just like basically, I feel like it's like like a tinted chapstick. That's what it's like. It's like chapstick. It's so soothing and nice on the lips. It it just feels so nice. It's I just, I, I, I clearly, I, I adore it. <laughs> so, um, we're going to talk about what else I've done with my face and the time that you guys had seen me. Of course, I kind of put on a little bit of eyeliner, um, just some ColourPop eyeliners. I also went and dug out this Michaela Pot 2 highlighter. I had on the original one from her first collection, the one that's in the purple container, but it just didn't feel like it had enough pizzazz. And I just wanted that extra touch of green for funsies. And so we went with this shade here in the middle. Um, I know you probably can't see it because I got the little plastic on it. These are messy. <laughs> I'm going to keep this on here. They're messy and they flake real easy and I just don't want them to get destroyed. 
this here in the center, this one is what I have on my cheekbones and I have it on my, into my tip of my nose and above my lip. And I enjoy it a lot. In fact, I might take just a little hit of it here on my finger and just pop it over the top of that. I don't know if that's doing anything. I feel like it is. I feel like it's adding a little fun. Nice little look. Very, very much a fun little thing to have. I really like this collection. I didn't realize that I liked green as much as I do. I know I like green. My favorite colors are technically like red and purple. Purple mostly lately. I've been digging on purple and black a lot lately. But green has been one of the colors that I've been recently drawn to more and more. And I think this collection kind of may have started it or finished it. I don't know. I was into greens ever since the um, green, what is it called? Blood Money palette from JSC. I love that palette. That palette is the prettiest green palette of all times and like part of me is like oh that's great i'm gonna just use the crap out of it and and never you know like i'll i'll run out of it fast and and, and it's gonna be okay because i just love it so much and then the other part of me is like oh i want to find something else that i can use up because the collector side of me is like oh just hang on to it it'll increase in value but i think as time goes on and he stops doing youtube and people are getting more tense and upset and all that that it's probably not going to do that so I should just break into them and just start using them regularly because I have almost all of his palettes the only one I don't have is the psychedelic circus and it's just because at the time that it came out I didn't really have money to buy anything new and I just haven't really been buying things for my collection I've been buying things that I know that I'm going to use so yeah, that's why I hadn't used that. But I just went off on a tangent. We're supposed to be talking about this collection. So we're gonna go over everything one at a time. My thoughts on the eyelashes. We're gonna start here. Eyelashes, they're nice. Uh, a little bit on the long side for my personal taste, a little bit too long. Meaning that my eyes are deep set. So when you have a long eyelash like this, and especially one that flares and spreads out like that and, and curls up, they will bonk off the top of the uh, bone, I, the brow bone here, and just pop off sometimes. So it's really hard to get them on when they're that long. So that's just me. I know that's not everybody else's problem. They're a good quality lash. They're very light. I don't really, I mean, I feel them because they're such a big lash but I don't really it's not like obnoxious and hurting my eyes they you know they got to be adjusted a little bit and you got to trim them just like normal but they're they're good lash so I, I mean I of all the glam light lashes about the these might be my favorite or the ones that came well no I had to trim the ones that came with the the um scooby-doo collection i had to i had to trim those those just weren't happening for me but so these probably are my favorite so far out of all the glam light lashes the lips i just i i love the lips i love it um the lipstick is a little bit not it's a little dry but not as dry as most stick lipsticks it's just a typical stick like stick lipstick but the gloss is the star of the two because it really adds that extra moisture and juice to it that makes it look just the way I like so I do like this this is definitely a pass for me or not a pass uh, uh this is definitely get this if you're looking and you're curious definitely if you like stick lipsticks and you like a scented lip gloss this might be something fun if you like blush this blush this is not their first blush their first blush was one that came in the apple pie palette i adore that blush it is a really good blush but if you're looking for a nice hot pink blush that's just kind of a, a wow moment even on the face it's it's more subtle than i thought it would be it's not quite as pink and shocking pink as it looks in the pan but it is, it's just a nice soft glow. I really enjoyed it. Now the makeup I'm wearing, I'm wearing Kosas Revealer Foundation and Concealer. And they do lean a little bit on the warm side. So I thought that with this being such a cool blush, it may balance each other out. And that may be what's going on because it's not really showing up this 
shocking pink on me. It's just a very subtle, like, subtle moment, which I really enjoy. Like, I ended up enjoying this even more. Like, I do love a shocking blush moment because I love blush. Blush is one of the things that I continually have to force myself to give away and let go because I continually buy it. In fact, I don't need any more blush, but I've got blush coming in the mail because... I just love blush so much. So I clearly have a problem with blush. I just love it so much. And this is a nice subtle color, but it's a nice light pink. Um, it's very natural looking, I think, on the face. Like I really like how natural it is. So this is a really good, this is definitely a win. Definitely, definitely a win. And we talk about the palette. The palette, I really like more than I thought I would. The colors, I mean, you can't go wrong with Glam Light as far as color payoff goes because she will make sure, Giselle is the, the owner of the brand and she will make sure that everybody can wear the palette, that it's not just gonna show up on little blonde hair, blue eyed girls, you know. It's gonna show up on all kinds of skin tones. If you're if you're pale, 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 super white, paper white like myself, it shows up beautifully. But if you're dark skinned and beautiful, this is gonna show up just as well on you as it does on me. And that is amazing. You get more bang for your buck with these palettes. I really, really do enjoy that about this brand that you're not, you don't have to worry about it not showing up. You always are gonna have it show up. The only negative I have to say is that they have some glitter bukkake on the top here. If you look around that color that I was scared to use, you will see some glitter bukkake on the palette itself and some big chunks of glitter. But that is just that type of formula that she has in here. But it, it is different underneath the layer when you get to the bottom of it. There's actually like more pink toned under there. So it's really, really pretty. I, I did enjoy it. I did put it in the inner corner and then I kind of topped the inner corner off with this, that, and the other. And it's kind of gone all around the, the, the mulberry, mulberry bush, as they say. So yeah, that's how it looks just swatched on my hand. It's actually really beautiful. There are some other colors in here. I think there's a couple multi-chromes in here. I don't know, or duochromes. I'm not sure which ones are the duochromes. I don't think that I used them at all today, but I was just trying to go with a red look with green on the bottom to kind of like make my outfit blend together with it. Since I'm wearing strawberry shortcake shirt, I thought I might as well be strawberry shortcake all over to go with the palette. So yeah, I'm going to play with this palette some more. I really do enjoy this collection. It's the, the Scooby-Doo palette. I, I feel like that was very focused on Halloween and I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get out of my comfort bracket for like in my brain prioritizing that or putting that in a little bin that says Halloween only because I don't want to do that because then I'm missing out on using palettes. I want to get more focused into using what I have this year, which is going to be difficult. I haven't really been buying a whole lot of palettes. I do buy, I bought some single shadows and I did buy a couple of palettes here and there, but they're not as much of a priority for me as other products are. So I'm going to keep trying to go that route uh, because I, I don't hang on to palettes because I can't possibly use them all and I just feel bad about it, you know, because you can't pass makeup along to your children when you go. But this palette is definitely one that I could see somebody using daily because it's got the pinks, because it's got the greens, and it just looks really pretty on the skin and really pretty on the face. It's just a very beautiful palette and it actually worked out really good like it's something that I wouldn't be like sometimes I have these palettes and they're really really cute but do I want to be seen if I have to run to the grocery store am I going to want to wash my face before I go or is it going to be okay you know because I live in Charlotte and you would think that it would be more acceptable and all that but you know, certain places it's not as acceptable and you get stared down and all that fun stuff. And most people, if you're, you're cool with yourself and you're accepted yourself and you're, you're cool with it, then you can do that. And sometimes I'm like that. Sometimes I even walk out with the most outlandish makeup on, like that dragon fruit palette. 
the one time that I wore that, I was just up and down and going everywhere wearing that with the highlighter, just beaming these colors that were unreal and not found in nature, and I did not care. Uh, but that is not everybody, and I realize that. But this palette is a palette that anybody and everybody could wear and could get away with wearing, even in the smallest, dinkiest town with the, the ladies with the, the most gossip. You could still get by wearing this palette and not get as much you know, yammering behind your back. So definitely this palette is a win. I think it's a good everyday palette. If you're looking for an everyday palette with a lot of pinks and you're into the pinks and the greens, then I think this is good go. If you're a big fan of Strawberry Shortcake, then I'd say go ahead and get it. It's worth the money. And then last but not least, we're going to talk about something I didn't even use. This little sponge. It is so precious and so adorable. We'll take her out and look at her. In all her glory she is beautiful i don't know how practical she is i don't know how well it is how well it works in putting on makeup but oh my gosh look at how stinking cute she is that is the most precious little sponge ever like i thought that the dunkin donuts elf donut sponge was the cutest sponge i've ever seen but this most certainly takes that title. This is the cutest thing ever. And I will never use it because you're so precious. You're so precious. I love her. I love her to pieces. And she's going to sit in her little box on my shelf and be a conversation piece. Because that's what she should be. So, in all, we're just going to briefly go over the things that I like. I like everything. 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 The only thing that I say, maybe don't worry if you don't get, you don't have to rush right out and get this, is the lashes. And I know that the lashes only came with the PR set. And it was a good price, so that's why I got it. But if you didn't get the lashes, you may not feel so bad because it's very comparable to her other lashes, the denim like lashes, because she likes a big flared long lash that spikes out and, and it's cute. But, uh, you know... It's not a must have. You can probably do, I think there's like a meat lovers lash or something that's similar to this that I liked a lot. Um, when the donut lashes were like way too long <laughs> because they, she likes a nice dramatic lash. But yeah, I love everything in this collection. And if you're looking for a nice pink and green collection and a cute blush and a cute lip set, then I think that you would be happy to get this set. I just say that if you can't get the PR collection and you want to skip out on the lashes and maybe the sponge, if you're not somebody like me who wants to have it on display, then I say just, you know, just get these three. These three are most definitely something that you will use every day if you're this kind of person. If you're into this, then you'll use this every day and it'll get used and it'll get loved and that's fantastic. If you're a collector and the PR kits are still available, which I don't think that they are, but if they were, they were having a sale. So if they are available and they are on sale, then I say grab the PR collection. But if not, you're going to be just fine getting the palette, the lip, be uh, the lip kit, and the blush. I think you're going to be set. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thank you. Um, please hit the like button down below so I know you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. That won't hurt my feelings. In fact, any engagement is good because I have learned in the short period of time that I've had this channel that any engagement is good stuff. And I do have some more videos coming up. I have a Sydney Grace mystery box. I have more playing with the Ladybug Glow palette. Please check out that palette. That palette is on sale now and it's definitely worth it. There's a code that you can get and I'll try to make sure that I put it in the description down below. I mean, I have my own code, but it only saves you like 10%. But if you use this other code, I think it saves you like 20, 25% and I think it makes it like around 20 something dollars, which is much, much better. Um, and yeah. I mean, it's a great palette. It's definitely worth, I would still buy it at the full price, the full $30 palette. I would buy it at that price because it is definitely worth it. The multi-chromes in that palette are still like my favorite. Like seriously, I mean, I do love the Clona, Clonida uh, palette that I have, the one that's the dragon fruit palette, the multi-chromes in there are, are beautiful. 
beautiful, but for an upstart, for a brand new indie brand, that, that Ladybug Glow palette is chef's kiss. It's perfect. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you hopefully later on this week. And if I film later on this week and don't get it published until next week, you'll know why. Because, you know, you got to edit stuff. <laughs> I try not to do too much editing because I want to be authentic and I want my responses to be natural. So yeah, so if all that sounds appealing and you're interested in seeing more from me and my channel, then please do subscribe. I do have a Patreon. If you'd like to join, it only costs a couple of dollars a month and you can help me find new stuff to try. You can let me be your guinea pig because I will do that. I am a 46 year old mother and I like trying new things. I have very dry skin. So if there's things that sound the same about you and you're curious about certain projects or products rather and you want to see if I can try them out let me know in the comments down below and if you want to join the patreon and help me get there all right guys I love and appreciate each and every single one of you everybody being here comments good comments bad comments all comments any interaction means the absolute world to me and I really appreciate your time thank you so much for staying here for this video and I just love you guys so much. Peace out, homies. Bye.